Hi everybody, welcome back to more Star Fox 64, where we go into Solar. And I'm Keeper of the Dark Heart with... Okay, and answer me this. Do you think the sun has lava in it? Uh, yes, because we're flying over a sun made of lava. Yeah, just you know, our ship can take over temperatures over 9,000 degrees. Isn't that amazing? But isn't the sun way over 9,000 degrees? Isn't it? And I just flew into fire, yet I'm still alive. But the ship can take it! But oh, since we saved Bill from the Katina disaster, he's going to help us out by dropping health items, which will keep us alive. I don't know why he's going to drop health items. I don't even know why he's here. Man. And just you know, how can how can birds live on the sun? Peppy, they're not even attacking. They're just flying by. I thought Moltres lived in a volcano. And I just nuked all those birds. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh boy, Pe Falco might die here. Do I save him? I forget. Okay, I saved him. Hey, I've recorded this a while ago, I forgot. Yeah. And quick question, if you know your ship is going to get damaged flying so close to a planet's surface, why would you fly so close? I was gonna call Peppy an idiot, I was gonna call Slippy an idiot, but that works too, I suppose. Oh, who? Slippy? Ha! Now pardon me while I laugh for a bit. Ha ha ha. I'm sorry. <laughs> you okay? Am I ever okay? I don't know, are you? No. The answer is no. And this is the boss of the area. For some Whoa, Yep. For some reason the main antagonist of the series decided to make a boss on the sun the shape of a mutated flying mantis. <sighs> Who gives us convenient health items for some reason. You know, he really has to focus on his boss design, you know? Like well, I did cut it off. I know. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm always incredibly tense when fighting this guy, despite the fact he's painfully easy. I think it's just the way he looks. Eh, it could be that he looks somewhat intimidating. Like a. Yeah, he could like look like a fire demon or something. I would think they would make him like looking like something akin to fire or like. Oh. Ow! <laughs> One of the rocks he spat at me bounced me into the lava, which bounced me right back. I don't know how lava can bounce you right back, but oh god! Yeah. Yeah, this is his this is his super move. He'll dive into the lava and then he'll pop up on the other side any day now. Come on. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. There he goes. Friday. And then he'll create this huge wave of lava, which really hurts if you get hit by it. 
So yeah, you, what were you saying? I was saying like, if he just wanted you dead, he wouldn't have any like kill things anywhere in his And he broke both of my wings. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, he only broke my right wing again. God damn it. <laughs> Shut up, it's not funny. Why won't he die already? Because I'm shooting him multiple times in the face. Yeah, but you're sh okay. Now, is he, he's made of. For the record, he's supposedly made out of some uh, flesh that's resistant to high temperatures. Acor that's what it is, according to the magazine, anyways. And oh my god, I'm about to thank you. Okay, something weird really happened, folks, and I apparently lost her. Ah, uh, you got, you yeah. just... Oh, there you are. Yeah, like, the little thing popped up and said, Oh, there's a problem with the internet connection. Oh, hold on a second, we can get you back. Fine, fine. Face palm. You just gotta love Skype sometimes, folks. Don't you agree? I hate technology. And yeah, by managing to survive the hell that is Solar, we go to one of the two tank levels of the game, Macbeth. Are you Macbeth? not serious. Yes, I am serious. Actually, my name's not serious. I'm Keeper, but until then, folks. Bye.